Thank you for using Tax 990 as an authorized e-file provider to assist you in filing the 990 series forms. Today we're going to talk about how to complete the balance sheet using the form-based filing format on the 990 EZ. We're going to begin by adding our revenue and expenses information in part one of the 990 EZ form. The information you put between lines one and lines eight will auto calculate as total revenue on line nine. For expenses, the information you put between line 10 and line 16 will auto calculate as total expenses on line 17. So you can see here our total revenue was $156,000 and our total expenses was $148,000. Our excess of revenue over expenses is auto calculated by subtracting line 17 from line 9, giving us an excess of $8,000. We're going to add our value of net assets or fund balances at the beginning of the year. You would find this information on your prior year return, end of year information, which will generate our net assets or fund balances at the end of the year by combining lines 18 through 20 and giving us a total of $19,000. We're then going to move on to page two to complete the balance sheet information on page two. So we'll input our beginning of year assets and liabilities to generate our net assets or fund balances. Now you can see once we've put our asset information in, it's going to generate our total assets and calculate our net assets here. We do need to add our liabilities um, and we can see the error we have here is stating that line 27 of column A, which would be this $59,000 value here, must agree with part one, line 19. So if we go back to part one and scroll down to line 19, we'll see that our net assets at the beginning of the year was $11,000. So we have to input liabilities to equal out that value we can use the green plus sign here to add liability information for both beginning of year and end of year. And that'll balance our error and make all of our numbers equal. Now, if we had not provided this end of year liability information, we would have an additional error indicating that line 27 column B of 63,000 must agree with part one, line 21. If we go back to part one, line 21, we'll see our value is $19,000. So we have to put input liabilities to equal that value. And again, you can see that cleared the error on both the balance sheet and the revenue and expenses section of the form. If you have any questions on your balance sheet, please contact our support team via email, phone, or chat. We are happy to help, but please keep in mind we cannot provide direct tax advice or direction on how to specifically report your organization's financial information or what categories your finances fall into. But please give us a call if you have errors or questions on how to resolve them.